Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today we're going to be talking about ticker symbol MMAT and TR, well, formerly known as TRCH. So I'm not a financial advisor. Do what you will with this information. Be sure to like this video if you want to and subscribe to my channel as well. Whoops, sorry about that. So today we're going to be looking at possible connections of Meta and Tesla once again. Still, we'll bring in y'all the torch Meta squeeze possibility tomorrow update or uh, tomorrow, but I'll be bringing that update tonight as well. And as well as my favorite stocks for July, we'll be bringing more and more content. Don't think that I'm going to stop covering MMAT. Those will still be daily videos as needed. So don't want people to be discouraged about me covering other stocks. I uh, just wanted to touch on that real quick. This is some DD brought to me by Chunk. Mark looked at it as well, pieced it together, and I'm trying to consolidate their thoughts down into one uh, per precision DD video for you guys. So hang with me on this. Uh, I will try to bring it to y'all in slow speaking as I can. I know I get you rolling on uh, and as fast as possible. A lot of information, but I'm going to try to basically hit on all the key points. Basically, at the end of the day, I think Tesla's on its way to work with Meta Materials. So just keep that in mind. I think it's going to be big time rocket ships on the way. It, even if Torch or Meta wasn't able to squeeze, which I think possible still uh but even if it doesn't squeeze early in the week this is an excellent long-term hold gonna be big time partnerships once they're once they're on the nasdaq uh so let me just get into in it industrial now. partnerships that have been exclusive so i've been unable to assist local nova scotia businesses in the battery space after july of 2021 tesla will allow me to interact with select Nova Scotia businesses. So I'm very happy about that because. So that's Jeff Don who just got an extension five year Delta 2026 with Tesla and he's excited to work with Nova Scotia companies and who's in Nova Scotia Meta materials. So huge, 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 huge. Basically could end the video there and y'all get it like it's going to be on. Uh, I don't think there's any way that we don't. We can help them in too many ways. But like I said, we're going to cover this pretty much pretty in depth. Just want to touch on this real quick. Oil is very much needed in EVs. So Tesla or uh, Tesla, Elon Musk could be interested in purchasing the Oro Grande project. Someone else that we'll kind of just quick touch base on that could be interested. We've touched on this in past Sage Geo videos is that Sage Geo Thermal project. We know that it's a lot of undeveloped land, so that, that's just impossible buyers. And Elon Musk already has this huge factory in Texas, so why wouldn't he be interested in possibly purchasing some more land? So keep that in mind. Could be used for the old because the average EV has a thousand plastic polymer parts comprised and or made of via use of oil. So right there, it is still needed. This this points to why meta materials is also needed once you reduce the weight by five to ten percent of the evs then it's uh, a pretty big monumental jump for battery life and so forth tesla only makes 50 to 55 percent of, of the parts contained in its cars so they are looking for outside partnerships to help them with their cars i think there's many many ways that meta materials can help them uh and so we also look at this talks about the precious lithium is essential for battery production. One little fun fact is that Meta Materials actually bit, used to be a lithium company. So this kind of talks about once again using lighter weight materials for these uh, for wind, solar or for yeah wind, solar and the EV so that Meta Materials is going to be huge in all these new processes because the lighter weight more efficient that they can be. It's also more cost effective. So Meta Materials I think will be the next big thing as I've kind of been saying. So if we look here this was back in 2000 2017, the investment in meta materials technology will be a part of the 18 initiative to develop this technology and brings together industry leaders such as Enel, Power, and Lockheed Martin. So if we see here, Tesla, once again, back in 2015, just made a deal with, uh, or we'll look at that in just a bit, but in 2015, they also partnered with Enel and we have this OP partnership as well. We're going to look at two reasons why. Uh, so right here, Enel Group uh, Green Power joins forces with Tesla back in 2015. We have this deal back in 2017. So basically already working very closely together, but not working with each other yet. So if we look at this OP deal, OP already has antennas in the car with the Tesla Tesla 3 and the Model Y. And if we look here, here is a patent and it is by Plastic Omium. This was brought to me by the Chunkster. Uh, and if we see here, this is a similar antenna that is brought to us, but none other by uh, Meta Materials. So OP is working with both Tesla and Meta Materials in parallel uh, sectors. Basically, they're working on the same thing. And so I want to see why Tesla wouldn't want to make their antennas a little bit better with these Meta Materials uh, antenna, transparent antennas as well as the defogging de-icing just plenty of plenty of freaking things that tesla can improve on their cars with meta materials so if we see here this is uh once again tesla partnering with op 
uh, this is the dollhouse partnership and if we look here Tesla Emmer and Novitskian are already three partners so why wouldn't they want to just go ahead and partner up with the fourth member here meta materials if we see here Novitskian, which is operation in Australia uh, announces deal ties with university uh, having ink to deal with Tesla led battery research Jeff Don who will become the company's chief scientist advisor in July 2021 and we know who uh, is who's a big fan of Meta Materials in Nova Scotia possibly is Jeff Don. So Emmer Technologies and Nova No Novixen partner with Innovative Battery Solutions. So there's how all three of those Tesla, No Novixen and Emmer connect. So why wouldn't they want to just go ahead and connect with Meta Materials once they become on the Nasdaq? I think it's very, very highly likely. And as Jeff Don said he will be able to start working with those at the end of July 2021. So if we see here Jeff Don leaving leadership role at Tesla to advise at Novixen. So very very huge stuff there if we see that <coughs> so basically a uh, quick touch base on what else we have uh, shared with Tesla we share an address Tesla can benefit in many ways the de-icing defogging the antennas uh, the transparent antennas the solar uh, panel where they are too heavy to fit on most houses they've been t Twitter Twitter interacting uh, George or not George but Elon just put out another tweet today. Uh, this was actually back in, 2000, or in June 13th, but you could start thinking like aerospace and most importantly, drag. So that would reduce the drag of everything. That's what Meta Materials does is more lighter weight, more cost efficient. So what I'm trying to get to is this Elon Musk. Uh, interesting tweet here today. Are you two friends? Uh, maybe Elon and George are saying too. So I don't know. Be aware of Things could happen tomorrow. We could be looking, as Jeff kind of pointed out, at the end of July is when he's going to be able to start working with these things. But I think this is highly, highly, I mean, there's just honestly too many freaking dots. Like, how do we work with OP and Nail uh, already? And those already have had long-lasting partnerships with Tesla before this, 2015. Uh, the OP is here recently in 2020, but they do already have, or I guess it was before that because in 2018, they had the antennas already in the car. So that was back in 2018 with that partnership patent sorry uh for misspeaking there but and as we see here the similar antenna is also with lockheed martin another thing that uh mark also pointed out to this is try on also has some connections with us as well but like i said i was trying to keep this as as short as possible so i could kind of keep y'all's attention on this thing but i think it's highly likely i don't know if he purchases the organic project kind of a stretch could be used for in the Enel project as well for wind and solar as well so that is a possibility or just for the oil we know oil is actually used quite a bit in ev so it is still needed uh so that would be interesting if they could kind of switch that off we know the land is probably not sold yet we know jeff don is excited about working with meta materials companies here in the near future uh, and Meta Materials is Nova Scotia Meta Materials company. So, like I said, I will be uh, bringing y'all another video tonight about the squeeze and everything. MMAT does have a ticker right now on Weeble. It is the Canadian stock, so don't get confused. But maybe possibly a slight preview to that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I think that this is pretty likely that I mean, just you honestly could have just watched the first five minutes of this video and said, "Oh wow, uh, that guy said that at the end of July." I think it's very highly likely, and then when you kind of connect the dots we are already partners with op and nail already uh highly likely we're already working on antennas similar to the ones that op currently has in the tesla cars so i think that is pretty big time i think it's highly likely we know that we're working in the same research facilities as all these guys and yet one two three have a partnership let's go ahead and get number four in there and that would be meta materials so i think a partnership's coming uh even if we don't squeeze them early on in this thing i think there's a very good chance that mmat is an excellent long-term hold we've seen the uh, there are no true comparisons this comes from the, from the csi uh review team they said that there's no are there are no close comparables to MMAT, so they compared it to $10 stocks as well as triple digit type stocks like 3M. So, and they said it is a good outlook on MMAT's long term. And so, like I said, I think this is the next big thing. Tried to bring you all pertinent information on this. Sorry, it ran a little longer than I expected, uh, but I think I did a pretty good job of hitting all that. Basically, we have already partnerships with these OPs and NELs, and so why wouldn't Tesla be coming shortly after? Jeff Dunn's calling for it just after July. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Could come sooner, could be a little bit after but we could be rocking and rolling well before then so don't be too late uh very very interesting stuff uh like i said be, stay tuned for those other videos tonight and i will see y'all later